how I got A plus for all three sciences, biology, physics, and chemistry. Oh my god! Wow! Well, stay tuned and you'll find out. Things first is the references book that I use. So there is actually a wide variety of references book out there. There is the official KSSM textbook. There is the focus book. There is the express book. But the book that I personally use throughout my entire SPM and I highly recommend this book. It is a book from Oxford Fajar. It is the Oxford Fajar success book. This is my biology. And this is my chemistry book and yes I do read them I find it more interesting and fun to read and as you can see this is the uh, chemistry elements and then this is the periodic table but designed in chocolates I think it's very comprehensive and complete they combine both form 4 and form 5 syllabus into one book the content is also parallel to the current syllabus and is very relevant during exams. For me, I think the way the content is structured in this book is also very easy to understand. It is actually the only references book that I use throughout my entire SPM, including for my paper tree experiments. I memorize it or I learn it from here. Next is about taking and preparing notes. I actually never have an extra book made specially for writing my notes. <laughs> the reason is why is because my notes are not very well organized so it is better off for me to just read it from the book. It is much more organized and aesthetically pleasing. Instead of writing my own notes, what I will do is that I will just read it off from my book and I will circle up, circle out or write a small description beside the points that I find important and this also applies during class so when the teacher is teaching I will just turn out to the relevant page the relevant information and just write down any supplementary information that the teacher is talking about I'll just show you in a bit this is my biology book as you can see I will just write down extra information I'll circle I'll do some stars and yeah that's just what i will do instead of taking notes this is what i do moving on is i will study a certain topic beforehand i will identify concepts and gaps that i am unsure of before the class even starts so this is very good because when the teacher comes in after the class i can directly ask her my uncertainty and my questions this is also to ensure that I'm never lost in class and I always keep up with the teacher's pace. Another crucial thing is how do I actually retain the information or the facts that I learn. There's honestly no easy shortcut or secrets for this. It's basically effective studying. There's a lot of videos about effective studying on YouTube. So I think everyone out there should check them out. But if you ask me, honestly, I've never had any special studying method or studying schedule, studying hacks. What I do is very basic, very straightforward. I just open my book, I revise it constantly. The repetitive revision is what makes me retain my information. But everyone has their own uh, studying method, their own studying style. So what you must do is basically identify what kind of style suits for you. When I finish the entire SPM syllabus and SPM is just right across the corner, just a few months away, what I will do is I will start doing my past year papers. This include the real past year SPM papers, the MARA trials papers, SBP trials papers, state papers. I will not just do it once. I will do it again and again and again and again. I'll do it repeatedly a lot of times. This is because from what I realized, the questions are 
usually repetitive, I will eventually get a sense of the questions and the answers. Thinking back, the entire journey was definitely not easy, but your efforts will never betray you. You will reap what you sow. Inshallah, we'll meet again. Bye.